In this presentation, we're going to discuss Direct Electron's unique HDR counting algorithm and how using HDR counting can benefit uh, imaging uh, with Direct Electron's detectors in a number of different techniques. To explain what HDR counting is, I first need to explain two other concepts, counting on a detector and integrating a signal on a detector. So to explain these in a simple way, I'm going to use an analogy. Um, imagine instead of recording a signal made of electrons, you were tasked with counting the number of sweets in a jar. If there are relatively few sweets in the jar and you can easily distinguish all of them, the best approach to do this accurately would be to manually count all of the sweets. Now, similarly, on a direct detector, if the signal is relatively sparse so that you can see distinct puddles of charge where each individual electron has hit the sensor, the best strategy for um, reading off a signal is to use a computer algorithm to locate and count all of the electrons on every frame. And this is how counting algorithms typically work on direct detectors. An algorithm is applied to each blob of charge on the sensor, assigning it a count of one electron and a location. And you can sum a very large number of these sparse frames together until you have enough signal to form a usable image. Now, what if uh, there are so many uh, sweets in a jar um, that it's not practical to count all of them manually. Uh, in this scenario, a better strategy would be to weigh all of the sweets. And then uh, if you wanted to figure out the number of sweets in the jar, you could divide by the weight of a typical sweet. Similarly with direct detectors, um, if there's too intensive a signal incident on the detector so that you can't identify individual electrons, what you can do is you can measure the charge that's generated by those electrons in each pixel. And this is something we call integrating mode. And this is a, a more traditional way of running the detectors. Um, but integrating mode can handle much more intense signals than counting mode, potentially up to 100 times more intense. Uh, but there are some drawbacks. The integrating mode is subject to more different types of noise than the counting mode, uh, particularly one called Landau noise. Um, and so integrating mode images are noisier. For some techniques, such as 4D stem, diffraction, and eels, it's necessary to simultaneously image bright and dark signals in the same frame. Neither the counting mode nor the integrating mode are really ideal for this task. And that's why Direct Electron created what we call our HDR counting algorithm, which is a technique that we've patented and it's uniquely available on our detectors. The HDR counting algorithm splits the frames into sparse and bright areas. The sparse areas are processed in counting mode, while the bright areas are processed in integrating mode. So this allows us to get uh, very, very low noise uh, results in the dark areas of an image, uh, and yet still uh, record those strong, bright intensities in the brighter areas of the image. Um, and this technique was explained uh, in an article called 4D STEM with a direct electron detector that was published in Microscopy and Analysis in 2020. So what's one example of where you might use HDR counting? Uh, let's take a look at a 4D STEM data set as one example. In 4D stem, you typically have uh, a more intense area of the image in the middle, the bright field disk, uh, and then a more sparse area outside the dark field region. Uh, so in 4D stem, if you wanted to make a virtual image uh, with the bright field disk, um, this is what that might look like, processing it in the two different traditional modes, integrating and counting. Uh, the specimen that we're looking at here is a standard cross grating. And you can see in the integrating mode, we get a, a reasonable bright field image of the grating. But in counting mode, uh, now I've scaled both of these images so they have the same median intensity. In counting mode, um, we don't get a very good signal. Uh, the counting algorithm is basically not able to keep up with the rate at which the signal is coming in. It's losing information 
and the contrast gets all washed out. Now, what happens if we make an image from uh, a sparse region uh, in the frame? We uh, make a, a virtual dark field image. Now, in this case, we're imaging a material that's relatively thick, and it produces a lot of signal uh, in the dark field area. Um, and so the two dark field images that we generate, may, the difference between them may not be um, immediately apparent uh, looking at a screenshot of the images in a PowerPoint slide. Um, but there is a significant difference between them. If you look at uniform areas of the image and you make measurements of the signal to noise in those areas, you find that the uh, integrating mode image has between two and three times uh, the level of noise that the counting mode image does. So the counting mode is giving you a, a much better signal to noise ratio, um, which may not make so much difference if you're looking at a, a thick specimen like a cross grating with a high beam current. But if you're doing a different type of experiment, suppose you were looking at a 2D material um, which doesn't generate such a strong signal, this difference in the amount of noise could be significant. What HDR counting does is it allows us to get the best of both worlds. The HDR counting algorithm is going to return an image that's basically the same as the integrating mode image for the bright field, and it's going to return a counted image for the dark field. So you get the best possible combination. To learn more about Direct Electron and applications of our direct detectors, please visit our website, get in touch with us via email, or follow us online.